Welcome in to another edition of First Draft. And with the first week of NFL free agency now behind us, it sort of feels like the rest of the world is ready to join us here in draft season. I'm Field Yates, and the man who I'm talking to today needs an introduction. He is Mel Kuyper Jr. We're back, Mel, and Justin Fields has officially been traded. How the heck are you? I'm good, Phil. Got a lot to cover. You got your updated uh, top 15, mock, uh, what's it, uh, the 1.1. Uh, you got 1.1. 2.0 coming up in early April. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 3.0 for me is coming out on Thursday. So, actually, tomorrow we'll That's talk right. about it on Thursday as well. So, a lot of news and notes, Phil, but let's get right to it because I know you ad ad adjusted, adapted to what free agency has brought us and, and the Justin Fields trade. Uh, I got a lot to say about this one, Field. Yeah, take it away, man. What were your thoughts on this Justin Fields trade that sends him from Chicago to Pittsburgh that costs as a 2025 sixth-round pick that can become a fourth-round pick? Amazing. It was a giveaway. It was basically a gift. Uh, you know, the, and, and the AFC North can't be thrilled about the Steelers landing Justin Fields. If I'm the Ravens, the Browns, the Bengals, I, this is the last thing I wanted to see happen here. Because Justin Fields is a talent. He's won. He's produced. He's shown exciting future potential as to how he can ascend, how far he can ascend in the quarterback rankings if he develops in certain areas, which we know what they are. We'll get into that today. But to, to do this, to me, and this giveaway of a trade, when you could have kept him, and people say, well, you can't keep him and Caleb Williams. Why the heck not? Okay? Go back to when Troy Aikman was there. Number one pick overall. Jimmy Johnson drafted his quarterback at Miami. Okay? Steve Walsh. Had him there a couple years. Traded him to New Orleans for a one, two, and a three. Go back to Joe Montana, Hall of Fame quarterback. Steve Young was brought in. They had to coexist. Right? Wasn't great, but they had to coexist. Then you go to Patrick Mahomes, right? Patrick Mahomes was brought in when they had Alex Smith. Alex Smith was the quarterback. Patrick Mahomes sat for a year, basically redshirted. So for me, if Justin Fields is the better quarterback this year, he plays. If it's Caleb Williams and he plays, what have you lost Field by keeping him? You're not getting anything anyway for Justin Fields. So if he can't beat out Caleb Williams and he's not the guy where he plays and he struggles, who cares? You weren't getting anything. So to me, I'm letting it play out. I'm letting Justin Fields and Caleb Williams battle. If Caleb Williams doesn't like it too bad, yeah. Pat him on the shoulder and say, Caleb, you're the guy. You'll prove to be the guy. If you are the guy, you will prove to be the guy. So I'm going to let it play. There's no way I'm going to give him away for a sixth in 2025 that can become a four. No way. Yeah, I mean, I've seen a lot of people that have had a similar reaction to what you have. I did see it differently here. I felt like Chicago needed to move on from Justin Fields because when they take, presumably, Caleb Williams, number one overall, I am of the mind that over the past half decade or so, we have seen more teams ruin quarterbacks on top of quarterbacks not holding up their end of the bargain. But too often, players are ruined by the franchise around them. I believe you need to empower these quarterbacks as much as possible. And while you're right, a little bit of competition can be healthy for the soul, I think it creates a very unique dynamic and perhaps an awkward one when you have two capable players in the quarterback room with no clear, like, you know, front runner or no clear top dog. I'm imagining a scenario where it goes like this. Justin Fields plays well at the beginning of the season, can hold off Caleb Williams, and then the minute he struggles, Caleb Williams is pressed into action. Well, then fast forward things a little bit. If Caleb plays great, that would be ideal for the Bears, but if he has rookie moments, then people are saying, bring Justin Fields back into the mix. I think that quarterback clarity is important here, Mel, and I think the league showed us how they view Justin Fields because the price was only a six-round pick that can become a four next year. I thought the league would value Justin Fields at a much higher rate than it did, but it sounds like there is less optimism about the player that Justin Fields is now and can be going forward than we thought there was maybe even as little as a week ago. I'll say this about the league. The league's clueless when it comes to evaluating quarterbacks. That's been proven time and again. They were clueless <laughs> back in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, yeah. and they're clueless to today. Okay. They have no idea how to evaluate quarterbacks. Yeah. They don't know them when they get to see them in college. They don't know them once they're in the NFL. They don't know them at all. Okay? So, again, Justin Fields in, in uh, Pittsburgh now becomes a guy that they can put packages in, even if Russell Wilson's a starter, yeah. work Justin Fields in. If Wilson's struggling, then Fields can be the guy. What's the difference in there? Because you got Kayla Williams, and he's coming in. you got to make sure Caleb's happy. No, I'm old school field. Yeah. Back in the day, every quarterback competed. You had guys there that get the job. Not, and ultimately, the best guy, it's going to flush out. The best guy is going to get the job. Yeah. He's going to secure that job, and he's going to maintain that job. I like win-wins. If Justin or Caleb, hey, if Justin turns out to be great, you trade Caleb. 
If Justin's not great and yeah. Caleb has That'd to be, be the quarterback because Justin just isn't getting it done, you're, you gave up. You, you got nothing. You got nothing. You gave Justin Fields away for nothing. So if you if he's not the guy, you, let, you cut ties, you move on, let somebody else get him for nothing because you got nothing. Yeah. Well, we, we could really talk about this for the entirety of the show. We can certainly get yeah. into a little bit more when we dive in to the mini mock draft in just a little bit here. I will say this. For those that are going to say, well, if you don't believe that you should have two quarterbacks in the room, do you also not like the move for Pittsburgh? My answer is no, I do like it for Pittsburgh because the dynamics are so different. Caleb Williams, number one overall pick at the beginning of hopefully a 10-year career, as opposed to Russell Wilson, a one-year minimum salary contract who was just released with the largest dead cap hit in NFL history of $85 million. Bringing Justin Fields in to me does not complicate that quarterback room that much. That, even though the Steelers are saying will be Russell Wilson's job, I believe it'll be a competition in Pittsburgh. May the best man win. All right, coming up, we dive into my mini mock 2.0.